You know what you don't hear much buzz about? Tunnels. Of course, most tunnels are underground, which is pretty low tech because, well, most ground is kind of low. But not all tunnels are made from dirt. Now some innovators are upping tunnel tech by creating a shaft of sound. It's called the Audio Spotlight, and it's just what you'd guess with a name like that. A speaker that projects a narrow beam or a tunnel of ultrasonic waves to create a focused listening experience. The opposite of this is a loudspeaker, which booms sound out into a wide field. The Spotlight's creator, Dr. F. Joseph Pompey, has been working on sonic technology professionally since he was just 16 years old. I visited Watertown, Massachusetts to learn more about tunnels of sound and to tour the space where the intricate work is done. Can I just take a quick nap in here or is that weird? You may. Okay. I don't have a blanket though. <laughs> This is our first production model audio spotlight processor and amplifier. Okay. But this entire structure is now replaced by this little circuit board, which does everything and more that this did. So your innovation allows quiet places to stay quiet, but still deliver information to the people who need it. That's exactly right. In terms of applications, think museums and libraries and more. With the audio spotlight technology, this is one of our future prototypes, we're sending ultrasound out, so we need to move the surface far faster than a loudspeaker needs to move. Any normal sized loudspeaker is gonna spread the sound everywhere because it's gonna be on the same size or smaller than the wavelengths that it's creating. So instead what we do is we generate only ultrasound. Now ultrasound has millimeter wavelengths. So now the wavelengths are very small compared to the source, so they collimate to form a nice direct beam. Joe set up two televisions, each playing different innovation nation stories. So I stepped in to experience the beams of sound. <laughs> I'm standing in front of this TV, I'm hearing this TV. That one isn't really in my consciousness at all. It's like, this is what I'm listening to. But then I hop over here, and I'm talking to this TV. Dan, give me your boom. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> okay, check this out. Motorcycle out. Because this is legendary inventor Thomas Edison's 1877 predecessor. That worked. <laughs> uh, this was actually after about. What do you think? This is crazy. It's a lot of fun. All right. <laughs> we tried it outdoors too. Joe projected a pre-recorded whispered voice from the audio spotlight speaker for this test. Hey, you. I saw what you did yesterday. <gasps> no, you didn't. You didn't see me do anything yesterday. If I didn't know that was you, I would be freaking out right now. Wait, I want to try it with music. OK, so when I hear. I think you can guess when the beam of sound reached me. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. It's very rare that I will excitedly dance on camera, but you got me to do it, <laughs> I'm so glad good we job. Can inspire you. <laughs> In doing so, I exercised sound judgment. Don't you think? <laughs>